Hi, this is going to be a short video on a few basic techniques and the first combination of freeform level one. So we look at three separate techniques. First one is an inside forearm lock, which is a yellow belt going for orange belt technique. We're going to look at back fist, which is a beginner's going for red belt technique, and a reverse punch, which is also a beginner's going for red belt technique. First technique we'll look at then is inside forearm block. I'm going to make left stance, make sure I've got a good position and make sure I've got my guards. Now if you're practicing at home, a great way to practice these basic movements is to look at a mirror. Look and can you see, are your guards in the right place? Are they on your face? And check. Is there a gap between your feet? Is your stance good? Your front hand, is it protecting your face or is it wide out? The same with your elbow. Bring it back in nice and tight and make sure you're protected. So inside forearm block, generally done with the front arm. It can be done with the back arm, but we're going to look at the front arm today. So from here, the, this is very, very important that you use your hips to twist and pivot. So I need this twist and pivot, a full pivot starting from the floor, pushing my hip to get in this rotation, driving it through. This needs to start the movement. At the same time as I twist through, I'm going to block. My fist should be just above my shoulder, and I'm blocking with this part of the forearm. The outer edge of the forearm, but it's called an inside forearm block because it comes inside the body. So we're here, I push with the foot on the floor, twist, and block. To increase the power in this, I get a sharp twisting action of the wrist. So I'm here, twist, and block. Here, remember we keep our mouth closed and exhale. The forearm should pass the body so there is no space left for the technique to hit. If I only stop part of the way, I'm going to get hit. Twisting through, block. Come back, twisting through, and block. Work that 10 times on this side and then change stance and work the same again, twisting and blocking here, twisting and blocking, making sure that we can work this technique, twisting and blocking. Twist and pivot, again leading from the foot on the floor, twist and pivot. Okay, pause the video if you need to, make sure you work 10 on both sides. Any problems, any questions about that technique, ping me a message, WhatsApp, stick it on Facebook, add a comment, okay, and I can try and help you. Second technique we're going to look at is back fist. Back fist with the front arm. From here, again, I make sure I'm in a nice good stance. From here, very important now that I point the elbow. My face is still protected because the elbow is in the way. The movement here, when I bring this arm up, the back of the hand is up to the ceiling. So we're here. So, back fist, I point and twist. Now I extend the arm. As the arm is extending, I twist the fist this way. Thumb is at the top, but I'm still in a correct fist because I'm trying to hit with these two knuckles. That is the weapon. From there, I pull it back and reset the position. Back to guards. There's no pivot involved on this technique. So I just point the elbow, out, hit, pull it back, and ready. Out, hit, pull it back, ready. Point, out, back, ready. Point, wow, hit, good. back, ready. Now this is a snapping technique so it should be done fast. So the whole idea is when we're here from this preparation to hit and pull back nice and sharp. Point, hit, pull back. Point, hit, pull back. Again, try it ten times on one stance. Switch stance. Point, Hit, pull back, and guard. Point, hit, back, and guard. Nice and slow to start with. Point, out, hit, pull back, and guard. We can go faster as we work through. Point, hit, back, guard. Work that movement, but don't rush. Really important to get a good technique. Okay, that's our second technique. Third technique, reverse punch reverse punch. So we're here. Again, I'm in a good guard. Very important now, I'm using the back arm. I must twist and pivot my hips. 
pivot the foot. When we punch, it actually starts at the floor rather than the fist. So the foot starts, it pushes, it starts my pivot. It starts my hip moving, my shoulder moving, my guards change place, the hand comes out, and I dig the knuckles down. I pull back and recover from the floor. Foot, hip, shoulder, hand, dig the knuckles down. Pull back. Through, hit, pull back. Through, hit, pull back. As you start getting the movement, start speeding it up. Again, if you're using that mirror, make sure that you've got your guards in position and the guard is on your face once you've done that technique. Nice, good, controlled movement. At least 10 times on each side, we can switch, twist it through, punch and back. Punch and back. Punch and back. Target for this punch, right to the chip. Punch, digging those knuckles down, making sure we get a good rotation every single time. Just a quick recap on those techniques. Inside forearm lock, a back fist, and a reverse punch. I'm just gonna show from a side profile so you can just see those techniques and make sure that you know what we're looking at. So this inside forearm block, through and block. Elbow, past my body, fist, just above my shoulder, here. Come back, twist. Hit him with the baby finger edge of this forearm along the front. We're here, through. Good. With the back fist, I point my elbow, extend and hit, whip it back, guards. Point, hit, back, and guards. Point, hit, back, and guards. The reverse punch, back arm, back foot starts the movement. Guards are up, we're in a nice good position. Push from the floor, twist, rotate. Pull back, twist, rotate, pull back, twist, rotate, pull back. If I change to this side, again you can see the body how it moves. Inside forearm block to start with, block across, and back. All the time I'm focused on looking forward. Block across, and back. Block across, and back. The back fist, point my elbow. Extend, hit, pull back, back to guards. Point the elbow, extend, hit, pull back, back to guards. Reverse punch, big twist, punch, dig the knuckles down at the end, recover. Punch through, dig the knuckles down at the end, recover. Punch through, dig the knuckles down. Now notice I say dig the knuckles down, I'm hitting with the two big knuckles, not flexing down, damaging my wrist. Nice and straight. So here through punch, pull back. Through punch, pull back. So three basic movements, like I said, inside forearm block, back fist and reverse punch. Now those are the first three movements of free form level one. We put those together as a combination. But how we do that is we start in ready position because we would be here. I would announce the free form, free form level one. And I actually now step backwards with my right foot into left stance. But as I'm doing that, I block straight away. So I'm here, ready position. Step back and block. And I'm in left stance. Now this one's tricky to get straight away, so practice this a few times. Come back. Again, anytime, just pause the video, practice, and then resume the video. So, the key thing on this is, as I step back, I need to make sure there is still a space between my legs. The common thing is people step back and lose that. So again, if you're using the mirror, use that to help practice. Step back, block, make sure you keep a space. We're here. Step back, block, make sure you keep that space. Now this time I'm going to stop there, so I'm going to go here and block. The next movement is a back fist. Now remember I said earlier on, you don't pivot on the back fist. 
my leg at the moment is in a pivot position. So what we need to do is to put that foot down flat as I point my elbow. Now I can do the back fist. I'm not going to recover to guards because it's a combination, so I want to join my techniques together. So whilst my elbow is set, I am now going to throw my reverse punch and pull back. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Step back and block. Point my elbow, the foot recovers. Hit with the back fist. And punch. Back to ready position. Step back and block. Point the elbow and put the foot flat. Hit with the back fist. And reverse punch. And recover. Back again. Step back and block. Point the elbow, change the foot, back fist, reverse punch, back again. Block, back fist, reverse punch, back again. Now it's important when we do that combination, for the free form, it has timing. Timing is really important so it doesn't just look like a blurb of techniques, it needs to be one, one, two. And this, that, that's the timing of this first combination. So we're here. I'm going to step back one. And then I go straight into one, two. Then I'll reset so I can go again. I go one, one, two. And back again. One, one, two. And back again. In the free form, we do that from left stance. There's no reason why you can't practice those movements on right stance. Everything we do in the martial arts, we try and find a balance from one side to the other. In the free form, it's the left side, so make sure you practice that more. The last thing you want to do is get confused as to which side it is. But it's important to practice both, okay, in our martial arts.